Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I will talk um, about somatic disorders during um, oncology patient treatment on in outpatient treatment. And um, this type of treatment is different from uh, those uh, given in, uh, in hospitals. What is uh, somatic disorders? Uh, you've seen them in your practice, and uh, you see these patients that try to find uh, some somatic symptoms. Patients are usually anxious, uh, they're suspicious, and uh, characteristically, usually the complaints uh, are not proven by any clinical tests but the patients uh, stay anxious and they are still looking for some threatening um, threatening evidences how can we differentiate somatic uh, disorders with uh, psychological disorders first of all somatic uh, complaints usually repeat uh, no matter how many times doctors uh, tell to the patients that they do not have any um, disorders or complications, but um, still patients keep complaining and they suspect, uh, for example, heart diseases or uh, when, they f when they feel some kind of discomfort, they recognize it as a progressive disease so they get anxious they they ask doctors um, about, uh, for advice and they go through tests and um, then uh, the tests with negative results come and um, um, the patient comes down but then he or she comes back demonstrating the same kind of behavior uh, quite often when the doctor tells to the patient that he has to um, to come down and that he is safe, um, patients sometimes look for other doctors, for different doctors, and look for the one who would support their view. And um, this type of behavioral uh, disorders um, you, uh, should be um, should persist for more than two years, so we could say that it's a somatic disorder. Um, usually, against the background of the treatment, uh, such kind of uh, disorders um, happen irregularly and during some short periods of time when uh, the patient uh, complains about some specific local pain and he has uh, starts to suspect the doctor in um, in, um, in lack of professionalism and uh, sometimes there are some family influences and psychological um, environment that can um, improve influence these somatic disorders uh, so if we look uh, at the um, the disorders and in um, onca um, cancer patients, uh, we see the first uh, place uh, goes to hypochondric disorders when the patient believes that he has some kind of disease, that there is some uncontrolled process, and the nobody believes to patients' complaints, and this causes anxiousness and the patient um, appears in the circle of uh, this um, uh, of his own thinking and suspicion and uh, he complains uh, starts to complain more after sometimes after the examination when the patient uh, gets the treatment he believes that he's treated in the wrong way that uh, he doesn't have any cancer and and uh, these are of course um, some characteristic of, uh, of his um, mental state the second uh, most common one is um, dysfunction of vegetative um, neuro nervous system when the a patient starts to complain about uh, nauseousness dizziness and uh, medical clinical tests do not, do not support uh, his view. The third place in terms of uh, common somatic disorder, disorders is um, 
uh, somatic disorder, uh, pain disorder. When a patient gets um, uh, for more, usually more than two years, some kind of chemotherapy, they uh, receive this type of symptoms. And the least common uh, ones we, we won't discuss today. Um, in case of oncological disease, soma somatic disorders uh, have their own features. They usually appear not spontaneously, but there is some kind of uh, predisposition to uh, to this type of uh, disorders. The patient likes to control things. Hyper control allows the patient to um, avoid alertness in regular settings and regular situations. Uh, you can. We we know that in the process of treatment, you you uh, cannot predict many of things, and for the patient, it's unclear. So uh, everything changes, and if something changes, patient gets uh, worried. And um, communication with the doctor is necessary in this case. The doctor has to calm down the patient and. Um, the patient cannot uh, talk him um, talk to himself in in this case and avoid this type of uh, anxiousness. As some patients um, know that uh, the body changes, but they are not used to it, so this also causes reaction and uh, ipacon hypochondric features and um, in case of asthenization psychological uh, disorders are very uh, difficult to control and sometimes it's impossible so emotional psychological tension increases and leads to hypochondric or somatic syndrome and alexithymia is a different syndrome when they are not when patients cannot uh, name their own feelings. Uh, sometimes um, they uh, say that they have a stomach ache, but they cannot differentiate it from a regular uh, nervousness. And prolonged traumatization in case of treatment uh, appears uh, all of the time. Even though if a patient works with a psychologist and doctors, um, and um, the task of psychotherapy is to deal with uh, this t kind of trauma, not to avoid it. And also social situation changes. So he has to readjust his way of life basing on oncology. And such patients, as a rule, are not ready to take responsibility for their changes, and they're ready to blame someone, and they succeed in that. All this background demonstrated by patients result in the reduction of compliance and efficacy of treatment because such behavior and attitude to the treating doctor and expectations result in either ignoring the um, uh, doctor's recommendations uh, so uh, so patient uh, might uh, see different information on the internet he may question doctor's decision he might say this is not incomplete uh, regimen or complex of treatment there can be also mistrust to the doctor or medical personnel or when uh, there are some reactions of anxiety uh, so a patient might think that uh, uh, something is uh, going on inside him and it's not on the level of reactions but mentality and uh, patient is getting more and more anxious and later it turns into a somatophobic disorder on the background of this anxiety and uh, 
uh, he might violate doctor's recommendations regarding nutrition, being on the sun, and uh, uh, very often patients might abuse alcohol or smoking. And so this is an attempt to get rid of this accumulated anxiety. If you look at the incidence of somatophobic uh, disorders among such patients, we see that lymphoproliferative disorders rank first, uh, and uh, patients with breast cancer as well. And um, these patients uh, can recognize the emotions to a less degree, and the same concerns expression of the emotions. So there is neurotization process. As breast cancer ranks second, and gynecological disorders rank third. If you look at the gender of the patients, these are mainly women because women are more sensitive and they have high level of empathy. They are more prone to react to traumatic situations. If it is alexitimy, they are more prone to such tension. The distribution based on the stages of treatment seems to be more uh, reasonable. The, let's take hypochondriac reaction, psychogenic dysfunction, and psychogenic pain. The, at the diagnostic stage, at the stage of chemotherapy and post-hospital stage, when all treatment uh, procedures um, are discontinued, so and there are control visits, and patient feels that he loses control, he's out of anyone's control, he and he demonstrates certain reactions, different reactions, that will bring him to the same doctor. The doctor might say, you are fine. Your psychogenic uh, rash is psychogenic. It's not related to lymphoma. But a patient would come again. These stages seem to be most complicated because diagnostic stage and control examinations uh, when we talk about uh, bad outcomes, uh, so they will have to change their way of life, take responsibilities for changes. At this stage of chemotherapy, there are a lot of side effects. Uh, there can be some of the reactions on the part of patient. This side effects are, do take place when doctor might say that this medication can give these side effects, patient will find them because they must be at place. <clears throat> and in such case, psychotherapy at outpatient stage goes on parallel with uh, treatment of oncological disease. The slide shows standard uh, timelines, uh, regimen, and uh, they can be different situations. Uh, they can be not pure hypochondriac reactions, but they can be depressive disorders, narcissistic uh, disorders. Everything depends on how we will work on it. But we can talk about 30, 40 sessions, 30, 40 sessions on a weekly basis within two years. So patient would go to psychotherapist. And according to the recommendations of psychotherapist, patients may take uh, medications but in stress reactions, uh, reactions may return. And the forms of work should be individualized. This is not because these reactions must develop, but this is because of the mentality. It's important that everyone would pay attention to the patient. They would tell, you will not die today. It's difficult to evaluate the efficacy of psychotherapy because there are no standard uh, of assessments. 
as to somatoformic disorders, we may look at alexithymia, at um, ability to cope with stress. It's important to teach patients to go to psychologists, to psychotherapists, to teach point. And we have uh, so sometimes patients might dream that somewhere there are blots growing in the bone marrow. And of course, uh, there should be more communication with the treatment do doctor. We should uh, teach a patient uh, how to well cope with it, how to get rid of the well fear.